It's about your brother. It's kind of, it's kind of, the, it's kind of like on everyone's mind. All right, you want my, you want my prediction on this whole thing? You want to know how I feel? Yes, I'd love right. to know how you feel. Now he's your brother, and you love him and everything. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. First of all, I'll go around the room. Jack, yes. what do you think? Do you? No, you... we want to know what you think. All right. I think there is uh, guilt there. Now let me tell you why. Just let me tell you why. Okay. I think he might be guilty of something here, because there's. I always thought it was weird that your brother went on vacation with young boys as it was. And then even that kid who came forward to defend him was sort of saying that uh, they slept in the same bed together. You know what I'm talking about? That that one 13-year-old kid? Yes, I do. Uh-oh. <laughs> the room just got very cold. <laughs> but I'm just saying, it seems like there's a lack of... I mean, why would you what design your whole house you? around kids? Why did you find it... You did find it strange that he was bringing children into the house even when you all lived together. I didn't say that, Robin. Where'd you get that from? The tabloids? No, I'm just... You know you did. <laughs> no, wait a second. Robin, stop there. Where did you get that from? Where did you, you didn't get... think it was strange, okay? No, where'd you get that from? Well, answer the question. No, no, where'd you get it from? Don't get Don't put words in my yes. mouth, Robin. <laughs> Don't do that to me. It's been done enough. The tabloids are saying all these terrible things, like he sleeps with 50 boys. I said, I said absolutely 75. nothing. 75. <laughs> hey, this is making me the bad person. It's terrible. Yeah, but you're not being a bad person. You're a but good person to say that. that. I think the only one is honest. This came from your own lips. But I don't think that's a bad thing to say. Boys. No, Katie Kurt asked me a question. She says, were there boys around at the house? And I said, well, that's quite normal for kids to come over and stay the night or whatever, or be in the room. That's yeah. what I told her. But what Howard said about But what they did was they sliced it, it up and they said ninny boys and the whole bit and thousands, and they went on and exaggerated. Yeah, but even still, even if it's one boy, I don't think that's normal. But I agree with you. I but totally you have to remember, you're Jack talking agrees. about six, seven years ago. Yeah, but Jack agrees. You're talking about a 36-year-old man sleeping with five-year-old children. Yeah, that's not Why? right. Why? You guys, no, what you guys are doing is that, first of all, I don't think that's you're, right. you're convicting him before it's time. Oh, I do that with everyone. No, I'm not convicting him. He might be innocent. I'm saying he's innocent, but I'm saying it looks awfully bad. I'm saying even, I mean, based on what I've read, it looks bad. Absolutely. It does look bad to design Absolutely. your whole house around kids and all that kind of stuff. There we go around you know what I'm saying? And, and um, LaToya, have you ever seen or known of your brother dating a girl? Oh, he's going to get married now. Do you Robin, wait, 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 I have a question. What do you mean? He's going to be married in the next two months. He's going to get married. Be is this the Howard Stern show or the Robin show? I think it's the Jack show right now. <laughs> You're ignoring what Jack's saying. Robin's like throwing these questions at me because she's trying to get me to say things. Yes, of course we are. Question. We love when you what say you stuff. Why don't you guys go ask Speaking Michael? Time. You're always ask so him. honest. But you're ask always him. honest. You're always so honest. He's my brother. I love him and I stand by him. Yeah, he's yeah, not heavy. He's not heavy. No, but I'm saying you wouldn't want to hide something if you thought you want him to get help. You wouldn't want him to be with other boys. I would want him to get help if, in fact, this was Right. The case. I'm not but saying it's true. Know that I you just asked me what there. I thought. You asked me what I thought. I'd say it looks very bad. I would, if I was... But see, you told me that before when I was here. What? Remember you I said... I told you, you I didn't think it was right. You said, would you let your kid sleep with Michael? Remember you said right. that? Right. You, you, you did. And, and I remember that. And, oh, yeah. And what did, I, what did you answer? That's prior to... And you said, you told me that you would definitely not let your kid sleep with Michael. Of course not. I would never let my child sleep with a 35-year-old man. And what parent ago. in the right man was? Of course was. not. I would never do that. You told me that a year ago, and I'll never forget you telling me that. Were, were, were you happy that I said that? Howard, I didn't say I was happy. You said oh, I said let I me add one thing. Of course, but, but why would I let, allow my kid to sleep with a 35-year-old man? I mean, why, why? I'd have to be insane. But there are many people who apparently do. Latoya always said there's a lot more to tell that I didn't tell in my book. Yeah, it's I true. always did say that. So you're saying that you know some stuff here, but I'm you're just not, not unbelievable. Know, you don't want to be. I just said that I didn't write the book to hurt the family. I think you should come I forward. I wrote the book to bring not out yet. awareness of child Yet? Wait, you're making a book deal? No, I'm saying you should come forward on this. You know why? Because no one should ever protect anyone if they are you doing guys, something. You guys. These are if all are. allegations. Yes, I are. Of course. You guys cannot say that this he's done this. I'm not saying that. So, in other words, what you're saying is you don't know that he's done this. I'm saying you guys can't say, and I'm saying that I was not there with this little George. But you were in Havenhurst for 30 years with him. You guys, let's change the subject. I'm not even here to talk about Michael. Uh-oh. Oh. One thing I want to mention. That Michael Jackson really was convicted by the press. Wait, who are you? I mean, in his favor. <laughs> no, wait, easy. Okay. Don't detain him. Whoever, whoever, whoever this guy Pelicano is, who self professes to be his friend, yeah. made sure that Michael wasn't home when the police came in to make a raid. And I think that. Who was brought the press in? I mean, let's be realistic. The Why did they wait for him to leave? Right. Okay, but, but the point uh, is, it's good to investigate this stuff. Absolutely. It is. It is good to absolutely. investigate. No matter if it's what your brother. What is Jack saying? I'm still trying to figure no. out what Who knows? Know. What Jack will break a chair over <laughs> you in a minute. Just be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to watch yourself with Jack. Just say he's making sense of it.
Uh, no, Jack, Jack, what are you saying? Yes, he's a prick, too. <laughs> <laughs> he, he hired this guy, Pelicano, yeah. to be a spokesman. Right. But at the same time, he, the Pelicano allowed him to leave for Bangkok, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden the police raided his home. If Michael would have been at home, he certainly would have let the police in, open the doors they wanted to enter. He didn't need the press. He didn't need the fanfare. They could have kept this thing very quiet until they have something. To I, see. Charges I see. I and see. And it didn't happen that way. But seriously, know. don't you think it's strange to sleep in the same bed with a uh, an eleven year old boy? Look where the camera's Absolutely. aiming at. Who? Can you aim away from me? Aim it on me. Aim it on Howard. Wait a second. Aim it on me. Good. Yeah, the piece is about me. Right. Yeah, yeah, be all the yeah what is this? I can't even get in my own piece with Dateline. <laughs> Where's your book? I don't see your thing. But if you go to Michael's... Where is my book? <laughs> you take a picture of my book better. But if you go to Michael's ranch, you'll get on the piece. Yeah. So anyway, my point... Just keep the camera on me for now, okay? Thank you. I knew this camera would ruin the show. <laughs> don't be excited. It's just a camera. That's right. Yeah, it's just a camera. But no, and Howard, when he asks me certain questions, the camera goes right to me like, okay, she has to answer this. Let's get the answer. Yeah, is, you're making you up tight. What is the real answer? Okay? What is if you want, I'll throw the camera guy out. What was your now. question? What? What is the answer? You want me to throw the camera guy out? You no, no, no. Do you want me to? No. Why not? Your name is not Latoya, Jack. Yeah, Jack. Jack. Hey, Jack. <laughs> what, 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 I'm asking Latoya if she's oh, uncomfortable sorry, with the camera. Well, Howard thinks the guys he, have a lot of tape. The cameras are gone. He thinks I'm going to really speak. Well, I just think I'd get you on my lap if the cameras get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> in two seconds, I think it's going to happen. Uh, I knew that was going to come up. What's it? worse? Wouldn't you rather answer questions about Michael than be on my lap? <laughs> What's worse? What's worse? I think, yeah. No, they Good kind question. of go together, don't they? Yeah. Admit, you're, you're, you're hot for me, aren't you? You're feeling something sexual. You feel it and I feel it, don't you? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> right now, no, I don't. I mean, before you were feeling it. What was your question? See, I told you. She felt something. <laughs> no, you're the one that was hot, remember? No, you're feeling something. Burning yeah. desire. Burning desire. Boy, that'd be cool. Get it on one of the Jacksons. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> well, she says you can take Tito. <laughs> I don't want Tito. What do you think of that? But Tito may want you. You never know. <laughs> now, let me ask you something. Yes? What were we asking that you didn't like? I forgot. You were asking me something about a question about something. I don't know. Some guy. About oh, Michael. Well, wait, what did I ask, though? That was so bad. I don't remember. Is it normal for a man? Oh, yeah. Is it normal? Thank you, Jack. <laughs> Is it normal for a man to have, se not sex, but just even sleep in the same bed with young boys? Latoya? You're shaking her head. No. The answer is no. The answer is no. So it's good to investigate this, I think. There's enough to investigate here. Look at this guy. He's just staring at me. Uh, but listen, you guys. Can you guys take a 10-minute break? Other people yeah, all right. She's freaking out. Would you guys take a 10-minute break? Would, would that be okay? Thank you. No problem? Thank you. But, but, Howard, is it reasonable for a man by the name of Michael Jackson to sleep with a child? No. Why would it be reasonable for Michael Jackson as a person? Who is Michael Jackson? No, 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 no. The point I think that he's trying to make is the fact that, um, what's what's his name? Uh, Seinfeld? Yeah. I think Michael's older than Seinfeld. Yeah. Now, Michael Seinfeld 36. was sleeping in bed with little kids. He'd be he was, Seinfeld? Was, was he? Oh, no, if he was. No, oh, if he was. No, I thought saying, you had a new revelation. I'm not, I'm not saying it's no <laughs> If Seinfeld was, People yes. People say, how could he do that? That is so wrong. Right. Now, what the point that Jay is saying, not Latoya, Jay is saying Michael's doing it, and they see absolutely nothing wrong well, with it. Well, I think people see plenty wrong with it. I ask a fan. Well, he's been Every doing it for years, is what she's saying, and nobody ever said anything about it. I know, it. I can't believe it. I used to I say about it. I have been doing it for years. I no, 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 but he's been running around going on vacations with little kids, and everybody's known Who would go on vacation with Macaulay Culkin to the Bahamas? You can't go doing stuff like that. And people like just that. report no. it, and they don't really? say anything's wrong. You can't. That's not right. I mean, that's got That's not healthy. But why did Gloria Allred, the attorney for the board, Boy Chandler, take, get off the case. I don't know. I don't Jack, know. That's a, a good question. Could you find hey, Jack, why don't you, you know, Jack, you know less about this than anybody. Why, you're asking good questions, but what, what is you the answer to that? He knows, he knows. Oh, he does know? Oh, yeah, I know. Well, what do you say, Jack? Latoya confides in me 100%. You guys better come clean. <laughs> uh, there's a whole story here. What's the story? Latoya, please tell the story. There is no story to tell. <laughs> oh, jeez, you too. There is, no, there is no story to tell. We have to wait and see. But when you were living with no. Michael, you saw some boys and stuff in the house? They were always kicked around. They're always, did you ever see so sex? Kurt, they were always did you ever see around. sex in the house going on? No, never. Never. I never saw but, uh, did he... and a boy together making love. Never. Did you All ever right. see them in the bed Let me sleeping ask together? Question. Go ahead. No. No. Did Michael <laughs> closet himself and not allow people to come into the room when he had a boy? Wait over. a minute! I am not. Let me, ask, let me ask you one question. Michael read all kinds of books. Court. On the self-destruction. Jack, answer your question. Okay, Michael. Jack Did Michael Jackson sleep with the boys when Latoya was living with him? 
in the same I, room? I, I heard. Let's, I heard. I don't want to say anything about that. Toya step up. That he slept with That's no fun. We're going to do that next. No, no. This is, that's why I'm here. I'm here for this, Howard. <laughs> that's what you think. No, oh, no, of course. Okay, then I'm leaving. Oh, just sit there. You're <laughs> not going leaving. anywhere. I'm getting a Just get on my lap. I'll give you a fun no, time. come on. Let's, I'm here for this. All right, let's enact. Me, I'll be Michael video. Jackson and you be a 13-year-old boy. And, uh, <laughs> we'll have some fun. I tell you what. Wouldn't it be better if Jay was a 13-year-old boy? Uh, no. <laughs> no, it would not. Hi, Latoya. <laughs> you know, you do a damn good Michael Jackson, Jack. I've been doing for years. Really? It's unbelievable. Do you hear his, his impression? Yeah. You guys, you, just because of you, Howard, I'm going to hear so much flack about this. No way. You haven't said anything. You don't have to say anything. The public takes it the wrong way. Ah, the public. The hell with them. Do you think I listen to the public? <laughs> They're a bunch of retards. Howard's right. <laughs> I'm right. absolutely right. I am right? Don't they take everything and twist it? Of course. I mean, whatever they want to say, they say it. They make you look bad for no reason whatsoever. Absolutely. I remember, that's well, my brother-in-law. And you stand up for the truth, and they say that you're not telling the truth. You told the truth. You went on. If you said, hey, I did see some boys over at the house why can't you say that why can't i say that you i said, said it you said the right then thing my mother gets her behind on the television and say that it was not true you didn't say what well, of course it was true hmm. i know everybody saw it security saw it everybody else saw you're it you're still doing it today so why wouldn't it be true well, but i didn't right. say that i saw him because sleeping. people Listen, twisted I just, I just said there were kids at the house you need consoling come over here <laughs> do you want to be no. consoled uh, thank you Howard, for helping me on that though All right. because that's so wrong all right, Latoya. Let's but have you not been able to contact Michael at all? No. He's not taking your calls? I've, it's not that he's not taking my calls. I have tried. As a matter of fact, when I was in Poland about three days ago, I stopped over in What London are you guys doing in Poland? In a concert. Oh, I it, stopped in having London. Having Polish sausage? <laughs> yes. Polish sausage. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Um, Latoya had some Polish sausage? No, mm. I, I don't eat no? meat. Jewish sausage. I'm a vegetarian. Are you? Yeah. But anyway, um, we stopped over and we, we sent faxes as far as we got over to the lawyers and made phone calls. Uh, the lawyer, they surround him where you can't even get near Michael if they don't want that's weird. to get near him. That's weird. Yeah. Only certain people can get through. Like Although Macaulay, maybe Michael doesn't Macaulay want to get through. Macaulay calls, he can get through. Macaulay right. calls. Elizabeth calls, she can get through. Right. And probably other people. Celebrity types who are his well, friends. no. Small little children. boy. Yeah, small little children boy. can get through. Yeah, little but boys your parents have, parents have trouble getting through. Oh, is Michael in? My parents <laughs> have trouble getting through. So why don't you disguise your voice? This time through. they managed to get through. Yeah. See, I know. When I was when I was living at home, Michael and I were really best friends. We were close friends. So I know what it's like uh -huh. to try to get through to Michael. We did everything. But when there were, there were times when the brothers wanted to come over, he would. They would actually have to make an appointment. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's what he's doing to you now. They would actually have to make. You can't blame it on his people. It's him. Go, or he would just Absolutely. go in the room and yeah. seclude himself. Nice. Yes. And he would seclude himself or say, I'm not going to be bothered today. Uh, I'm just going to be honest and say that. And a lot of people don't know that side. I'm not putting him down. But Robin's a lot like that. Way. What did your mother say about Michael Jackson? Tell me. Oh, don't start that. You can just say what your mother said about, it, about your brother. Then you're going to hear it everywhere and it's going to be... All right, let me everywhere. just hear what is it. What did he? What did she say? That he was a homosexual, an absolute homosexual. Your mother said that? Your mother said that? And Come why was he always constantly. having little boys in the rooms with him? Okay, I'm just going to tell exactly you guys the truth. Since Jay has said this, yes. I'm going to be honest because I am sick of my family. I love my family in a way, but then again, that's why I remove myself from that situation because there are a lot of things There's that I family believe homosexual. in that I do not believe in, and I stand firmly against a lot of things they believe in. Child abuse. Sorry? Child abuse? Which is child abuse. I'm totally against it, and that's why I wrote the book. However, my mother would hurt me a lot of times because at the time, I really didn't want to believe it. And she would say things to me all the time, and she would say, Michael is a so-and-so bag. Right. Which is okay. And I would never tell him that. She doesn't even know that that's true. And I didn't even want to. She just would to say it. Well, she would hate the fact that there were always little boys over, and she would say that so-and-so fact, and she would say it with such anger and hatred. But the problem is, now she gets on television so sweet and innocent and go, oh, I love my son, and I would never say anything like that. And the public sees it and say, how can Latoya go up there and lie? Oh. Latoya's not lying. Latoya's just, she's, she's not, she, I'm not exposing him. Right. I, I just don't like the fact that my mother would say those things, and then she turn around and calls me a liar. What did your right. father say? My father stays out of everything. Well, the whole thing's a mess. Yeah. I and, thought my parents were trouble. And I support him. You do? I can't support him. In other words, I'm standing by him. We don't know what happened. You guys, nobody was in that room, so you cannot say that That's he did true. this. That's true. Well, I'm, no not saying he, I'm not saying he's guilty. I said it's the appearance of guilt. It's not that he's guilty. But why do you build merry-go-rounds in Ferris Wheel? To ride him every day? You're going to go for a ride in your own Ferris Wheel every day? But well, me personally, no. Say that he, no. He still no. has the mind of a 12 year old. He sort of acts But like does he have the mind of a 12 year old? He's a total genius who sold 58 million records. 
Does he have the mind of a 12-year-old? No. I, uh, I don't know. I've never met him. I don't know. A lot of people say it's because he didn't have a childhood when he was a little Yeah, but I mean, grow up. Who had a childhood? Did you know Jack? <laughs> I didn't have a child. Well, you guys, wait. The point that I'm If you saw my childhood, you wouldn't want a child. Yeah, no, you no. throw it right away. But the point that I'm trying to make is people say that he didn't have a childhood, but n neither did Marlon. Marlon was the same age as Michael. That's right. You made the rest of them. Mm -hmm. They were the same age. They didn't have a child. They don't have merry-go-rounds in their backyard. No, they don't. That's right. One important thing, though, that should be brought up. I ask a fan, if Michael was found guilty of this, would you still love him? He said, Michael can do no wrong. Then I said, what if this man's name is Tom Joseph, and he committed this kind of thing? Would you love him? He said, no, I would hang him. Right. So the fans love Michael Jackson, and he can do no wrong. No, I don't buy that. I don't think I think so. you're wrong. <laughs> I don't know about that. I think he's going to be found innocent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he's going to be found innocent. I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. Who knows? Hey, listen, I don't have time to do the investigation myself. I'm busy promoting tapes. <laughs> oh, yeah, you all this time. Oh, you Mr. Gordon, your husband. I mean, he was such a control freak. He he alienated you from your family. He made you pose for Playboy, which you didn't want to do. And I think to this day you've regretted that. Um, but the worst thing for me, I remember this as a journalist when it happened, was when he made you do that press conference about Michael where yes. you basically you know went along with all the allegations against your own brother oh, yes. at a time when Michael most needed probably the support of his family absolutely I mean that was a despicable thing for him to do it was just the, the lowest of all it was the lowest and that is that's one of the things that do you absolve yourself completely because there'll be people watching and reading the book mm -hmm. and you know you've had this criticism before who say you, you can blame somebody to a point Right. But when you denounce your own brother in public, right. part of you has to take responsibility yourself for that. You, you have to. Part of you have to take responsibility. And I do take responsibility for it, I must tell you. But at the same time, I have to tell you that if I didn't do what he asked me to do, he blatantly told me, not just me, but others that my other loved ones, that he would kill Michael. And I believed him because I believed the actions. So when he says, you get up there, you read this and you say this, prior to this allegation about Michael there I was on television saying oh my brother's wonderful he would never ever ever do a thing like this this is despicable the whole bit and then Gordon gets this idea okay is that what you're saying no you're gonna change that story and it's like no no and then this this is how did, how did Michael react when you did that I don't know how he reacted at the time I know how he reacted later when I talked to him about it. he and I had a conversation and I told him I said I need to talk to you Michael I want to tell you what exactly happened, what went on. He says, Latoya, you don't have to. I said, no, I want to. He says, Latoya, I know you. You're my sister. I know you. I love you. I know you would never, ever, ever, ever in your heart do a thing like that. Pierce, when my brother said that, that made me feel so good. How, how, did you, how did you 